All right, so we are going to make an in-place family for a cable that holds up the ramp in our project for this one, and this is what it is going to look like. The first thing we're going to make is just the cable here, and then we're going to make this tube at the bottom that the cable goes into, and then we're going to talk about how to make this top part. So if I bring the PDF over here and we zoom in on it, I'll show you what we're going to be making. So basically this ramp is held up by these cables that go through the flange of the secondary steel members and come down. They're bolted on up here. So we zoom in on that. You can see the bolt happening. And then at the bottom, they go into like a tube or a sheath, come through that. And then there's an eyelet down here. We're not going to do this part. We're basically going to do a simple cable, just a straight cable first, and we're going to add the tube to it. And then we'll talk about how you might go in and work on this bolt. Okay. So again, this is an example sort of of what we're going to make. And if I look at it in 3D, that's what it looks like, right? All right. So let me close this guy up. No. So here's um, where we're going to place these um, cables. And if we look at the section, you can see that those cables happen at every secondary member. And then they go down and connect into the ramp down there at the bottom. Right? So going through the top and down to the bottom. So. We're going to go in and put a few of these guys in. The first thing we need to do is make them. And the best way to make these is going to be a generic model line base. So we can just sort of draw this in from point to point. And the, lot, the length of the line will be an instance parameter, so it can be a different length to accommodate the different lengths that it will need to be to intersect with the ramp at a slope. All right. So. First things first, I'm going to go in and I'm going to create the family. So I'm going to go to my R pull down. I'm going to go to New Family. It's going to bring up the Family Template Imperial dialog box, and I want a metric family. So I'm going to go up one, and I'm going to pick from the English instead of the English I for Imperial, and that'll give me metric. There are all sorts of templates to create families from. Um, and at first it can be very daunting uh, which ones to choose. So what I would recommend is going in and opening up perhaps an existing family that's similar to the one you want to work on and see how it's made. Um, the one that we are going to start with is the metric generic model line based. So if I select that and click open, what it's going to show us is a very simple a template that doesn't have anything in it except for a length parameter, which is an instance parameter. So what this does is it starts from this first point, and this intersection between these two reference lines is the first pick point, and this is the second pick point. So anything that we model and associate with this line or with the planes or any planes we put in here will stretch and can and contract with the length of this line however we set our um, parameters and constraints. So the next, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create an extrusion that is a circle that starts here and is locked to this reference plane and then the other end of the extrusion will be locked to this reference plane and then we'll place it into our project. Um, and continually update it as we go. So when I get back, that's what we're going to do. 